Hey guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, third time today. Beast! Beast. I'm YouTube famous now. Available in 3000 BC, the album, Dad AF. All right, you guys, this is my third video for the day. I'm exhausted. It's been a really, really long weekend covering everything that's been going on. Uh, but I wanted to make this video, and actually, I had a different video that I was gonna make for my third video, so I'll make that video tomorrow. I am going to continue to cover the drama and the commentary and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but Shane Dawson finally spoke out about the James Charles incident, the scandal, indirectly, kind of, and I wanted to talk about what he said. I think it's really, really important, and it was interesting because, so I have another channel. I have five channels total. I have this channel. I have a vlog channel, which I'll be driving around in my car later tonight, vlogging, just talking about life. It's kind of like a podcast. People go and listen to it like a podcast, and then I have a booktube channel. This week was my three years on booktube. It's where I started officially posting videos on a regular basis and then I also have a review channel on my um, and then I have a Peterisms channel and it's where I do like meditations and motivations and I just kind of like motivations I just kind of talk about life over there you know and on there today I talked about um, what's really important in life the simplicity of life being priceless the moments that we spend with people um, go over and check it out if you want I will link it below it's a, 15 minute video, you can speed it up at two times speed if you want. I read a meditation in there and talk about what's really important to me at the end of the day. That yes, we all like the things that money can afford us and we like to, you know, high end things and nice trips and all of that's interesting to us. But at the end of the day, it's really about the moments that we spend with people and, you know, and I, and I think that that is what for me is very, very sad about this whole situation. So Shane Dawson, about an hour and a half ago, he put out the statement here, I'll read it to you and put it up here. He put it up uh, on Twitter and it says, feeling sad. Everything feels so dark right now. Even though I believe some people need to be humbled, I also could never enjoy watching someone go through something like this. Today I wanna focus on good stuff. I feel like I have tea poisoning from seeing all this drama. Send a nice text to a friend today. Give someone a hug. Tweet a link to your favorite music video. I don't know, something nice. I feel like we all need that right now. And I went underneath here and, you know, it was interesting to comments on there. And usually in videos like this where I talk about something, you know, where I read somebody's tweets, I'll read the comments underneath there. It was interesting. Like a lot of people agreed with him, but then there were a lot of people that I wouldn't say they indirectly disagreed or they directly disagreed with him, but kind of indirectly what they were saying was, yes, but it's important that we talk about this and on and on and on. And a lot of people in there referenced the situation that's going on with Trisha Paytas and Nikocado Avocado, um, which I have had, I mean, literally, you guys, I, I, no lie, hundreds at this point of DMs from people asking me to make the video about Trisha Paytas and Nick Akato Avocado. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Nick has uh, posted two videos now, one today and one yesterday, um, or two days ago, I think he made the video. I will be making that video tomorrow. I swear, I'm going to sit down and make the video. I just wanted to have all the information. I wanted to watch both videos. Um, so I will be making that video tomorrow. And then a lot of people in there were like, you know, they agreed with Shane and all this kind of stuff. You know, I think it's interesting watching all this stuff. Um, I just watched a video back that I did. So I met up with YouTuber Jessica Kent this weekend. And Jessica Kent is just one of my favorite people. She's so dear. And uh, we've just recently become friends. And she is part of what is considered the prison community. So we met up and I did a video for my channel, which is like 50 minutes long. And we did a video for her channel where she asked me a lot about addiction and recovery because I've been sober um, for 24 years. And I just watched the video back, you know? And I was sitting there as I was watching it and I was just like, thinking about the day that we spent together, because we spent Saturday together, and I drove up and I met her halfway, and um, I remember when she got in my car, I had watched so many of her videos, right? And when she got in my car, I was kind of shell-shocked, like we even talked about it, and I said, it's so weird having you in my car, because you're like, I, I imagine you as like a celebrity on TV, because I watch you through the forum of YouTube. And you know, I didn't say it like that, I was like, girl, it's so weird having you in my car, I'm having a fan moment, you know? But it really was like that. And I think that's the thing, is that when we watch people, you know, on video, we, see, we seem to feel disconnected from that. I did an interview, um, or interview sit down, I did a, I did a video with uh, 
uh, Amelia Fart, and I had watched so many of her videos. We'd even talked on the phone, you know, for hours at a time. And when I sat down with her, it was surreal. Like I remember walking into where she was staying. She's one of she's one of the coolest, most authentic, genuinely nice people caring, compassionate, and kind that I've ever met in my entire life. It's literally almost kind of a, um, an energy that just like flows off of her. And when I, you know, came in and I saw her, it was surreal because I had only seen her on video. And I think often, and I've said this in a lot of my videos, that the disconnect is that because we watch YouTubers on the forum, okay, of YouTube or in videos or whatever, that it doesn't feel like they're real people sometimes. It feels like they're, you know, celebrities. And when we're talking about people that have, you know, a half a million subscribers, a million, five million, 10 million, 16 million subscribers, the, dis the disconnect even feels larger, I think. But at the end of the day, these people are just human beings. And I've said that, I think, in almost the entirety of the two and a half years that I've been doing drama commentary videos. So I've been talking to a lot of people behind the scenes, you know, not like, people that make YouTube videos, but I, you know, my husband and my best friend and some other friends of mine, you know, and everybody's like saying to me, oh, congratulations, your channel's growing, you're getting a lot of views because they see that. The thing that, it, that I, I've said to all of them is, thank you, but it's sad, like at the same time, like, you know, yes, as a drama commentary channel, I'm going to put my two cents out there. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch what's going on and I'm going to say my two cents about it. But I've tried to do a really good job at the same point, at the same time, in saying that I'm very, very concerned about James Charles' mental health and that I hope that he's surrounded by people that really care about him and have his well being um, in mind. And um, that, you know. <laughs> I just hope that he is being taken care of right now. It may not be a popular opinion, but anybody going through something like this, no matter, you know, if you're 65 or 19, but I definitely think the younger that you are, it's got to be so, so difficult, right or wrong, no matter what you did. People are human beings at the end of the day. We can criticize people. We can even humble people. We don't have to like somebody, but that doesn't mean that we can't come from a point of love and compassion in our hearts. I've seen, you know, a lot of, and I have to say, the comment sections of my videos have been, I would say, they lean towards people leaving nicer comments. Thank you. Thank you for, you know, putting in there your opinion, but in a more compassionate way. I'm not saying that every comment's like that, because it's not. But I think there was this, like, real, you know, cancel culture, drag somebody mentality. And I think that, you know, what's happened over the last couple days is that we've all watched this like an entertainment. You know, we've all watched this, including myself, you know, we've all watched it all unfold as entertainment or as television, you know, like the almost the season finale of Game of Thrones, so to speak. Everybody's watching this. Everybody wants to know what's going on. Everybody's keeping up with it and watching the videos. These are all real human beings. You're a real human being. And I can't say that when I turn the camera off, there isn't great sadness in my heart that this is about lost friendships and this is about greed and this is about somebody's life really being ruined because of the choices that they made, right or wrong. It all of it makes me sad, you know, and like I said this in a video the other day, it reminded me of the end of the movie Fargo and I'm sure a lot of you out there haven't seen it, but it, Frances McDormand, who's one of my favorite actresses of life, if you don't know her, she was in the three billboards, you know, outside of e Ebbing, Missouri or whatever that movie's called. She's fantastic. She won an Oscar for it. And at the end of the movie, she's sitting and the whole movie is about, um, you know, this, this guy that gets a hit out on his wife uh, so he can collect the insurance money. And she's sitting in the car as a police officer and she's sitting there, she looks back at him and she goes, so sad, you know, all of this for money. And I look at that and I think that all this greed, all this power, all this control, all this fame that's so important to people is really at the end of the day, you just traded everything off about it. The whole situation makes me very, very sad. You know, when you step back and you look at it, and I'm sure that for many of you out there, when you're watching these videos in the moment when we're laughing and we're flipping fans and we're joking, yes, it's funny, you know, They're, it's entertaining to talk about. But when we step away from it, it's very, very sad. It's very, very tragic. There are lives that are being ruined over this. There are, you know, mental health issues that I have to believe there are at, you know, that concern about this. There are friendships that are being lost. Many, many friendships that are being lost. And I think more to come as this goes on. And really, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I said this in my Peterisms video that I did. When we look back on our life, 
at the end of our lives, if you have the opportunity, if you're so blessed, and I am in real deep reflection about this today because tomorrow is the 11 year anniversary of my mother's passing. And you know, and I, I've been thinking a lot about, you know, the end of your life and what you look back on. And I don't think it's about the jet setting abroad. And I don't think it's about how many luxury bags you have. I don't think it's about, you know, how many views you have or how many subscribers you have on YouTube. I don't think it's how many pallets you have in a Morphe store. I don't think it's about any of that. You know, I really, really don't. And, and I try to be an example of that in my blog and places like that where I just show my life that at the end of the day, you know, I do think that, and, and I'm not saying that I haven't gotten caught up in that from time to time. I think many of us have, and I, I'm to blame for that too. And I do like nice things, and I even talk about that on that video. But at the end of our lives, I think that we look back, and what we look back on, if we have that opportunity, you know, to look back on our lives is those moments that we spent with people. The drives around in cars with my best friend having fountain cokes, and I always talk about that, right? But we've sat for hours on her patio. We've talked, and she knows things about me that nobody else in this world knows. She's been there for me when nobody else could be there for me. My husband, you know, the moments that we've spent together, the vacations that we've taken, the tears that we've shed over finding out that, you know, my dog, Pee Pee, has heart disease, you know, the family members that we've lost, the funerals that we've attended together, the hands that we've held, you know, and on and on and on. You know, when I think about all of my friends and the moments that I've had and all, I look back at my entire life, the books that I've read, you know, the laughter that I've had, the tears that I've shed, when I look back on all of that, none of it, None of it, none of it is worth a luxury bag or a trip abroad or how much money you have or how many views or subscribers you have. Some of us have to be humbled. I've had to be humbled many times in my life to realize what my priorities should be and need to be. Today, I like to think that I kind of do know what those priorities are, but sometimes I need to be reminded of that. I think we all do, you know? But while we're sitting back and we watch this all unfold, and we're going to continue to watch this all unfold, and I've gotten a lot of comments on my videos today from people saying that we need a break from drama again, or I need a break from drama again, which is why tomorrow I'm gonna do some different videos. While we're watching this all unfold, you know, I think that we have to remember that these are human beings at play, you know, and we can have very strong opinions, and I've had some very strong opinions in some of my videos, and, um, you know, and I stand behind many of those strong opinions, but to remember to be kind to one another, you know, to, like Shane said, reach out, text somebody, you know, maybe in the comment section tonight, instead of just sharing our opinion about what we think about Shane Dawson, putting out a comment about James Charles, maybe instead if you've made it this far, you know, if you're an OG Wolfpacker, and that means you've watched my videos for a long time and being part of the Wolfpack is that we just believe in trying to focus on having a better life and doing the best that we can do on a daily basis and trying to live a positive life. Put a little blue heart down below and as on top of that maybe share something that's priceless to you. You know no matter what it is. A book or a moment with your best friend or whatever you know and maybe spread some kindness underneath there. I think that Shane's message was needed tonight. Definitely definitely needed and as we move forward like I said and we continue to watch this because we will and we will all participate in what what's going on and we'll watch it, you know, that maybe we can remember that there are human beings at hand and, you know, we can remember to, you know, watch it and not just detach and, um, you know, like, I don't know, it's hard for me when I turn off the camera because the sadness seeps in, just like Shane said. It's like you're in the moment and you're in it and you're watching it and then you step away from it and it's like it really sinks in. This is really, really sad what's going on. Lives are being destroyed. Friendships are being destroyed. So much is going on that's like unreal and surreal that I don't, I couldn't even imagine on this level if this was gonna happen two weeks ago, let alone a month ago or whatever. And now here it is and it's real. And it's very, 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 very real for James Charles. It's very, very real for Toddy Westbrook. It's very real for all of these people that are surrounding them and how their lives are forever changed by this friendship that occurred and is now, you know, dissolved. And, um, you know, I think, for me, I'm gonna step away for the rest of the night. I'm not gonna watch any of it. And I'm gonna spend some time with my husband and my dogs and relax a little bit and text out, like he said, a few people that I love. I try to do that on a daily basis anyway, you know? And maybe try to, I don't know, moving forward, like I do on a daily basis, try to be the most compassionate, kindest person I can be on a daily basis. So I do wanna thank you, Shane, for that reminder that I think many of us needed in this moment. I love you guys and I will see you back tomorrow. Bye.